Hey guys, welcome back to The Musical. My name is Cole, and today we're gonna talk about a really fun kind of guilty pleasure album, which is of course the self-titled debut album by Fountains of Wayne from 1996. It's basically nerdy power pop. It's a lot of fun, so I'm excited to talk about it. Let's dive in with track number one, which is probably my favorite song. It's called Radiation Vibe. Are you alone now? Did you lose the monkey? He gave you black eggs And now you slouch He didn't mean it He's just a dumb egg. Oh my gosh, I love this song. It's so catchy. I mean, most of the songs in this album are really catchy, let's be honest. But anyway, so this song technically is not about anything, according to the band. You know, they were interviewed about it. But I do think it's about something. I think it's about a guy who spent most of his life trying to be a manly man, trying to be an alpha male, when he really wasn't, when he was really kind of a nerdy guy who, you know, he just wanted to fit in. So he put on this show, he put on this mask, pretending like he was the big dog, like he likes sports and things like that. But, you know, finally he's learned his lesson that that's not who he is, you know, because he says, are you alone now? Did you lose the monkey? He was giving you backaches. So that, that's how I interpret that, is basically he's shed this false version of himself, which he has been, you know, He's been pretending like he's this alpha male type for years, but now he's realized, you know, he's got to be true to himself, even if that means he's going to be kind of a loner, maybe kind of a nerd. Uh, maybe he's not going to get all the women who are into manly men and stuff like that. And that's okay, right? Just be who you are is what the real message of this song is. So I appreciate, I appreciate that. But anyway. Uh, let's move along to track number two, which is called Sink to the Bottom. I want to sink to the bottom with you. I want to sink to the bottom with you. The ocean is big and blue. I just want to sink to the bottom with you. Cars on the highway, planes in the air. Again, I actually like the lyrics on this song because it makes sense in, this, in the sense that you've got these two characters who sound like they're together, they're in love, right? But one of them is kind of bad news and they're going to sink to the bottom together because, you know, it's really hard to uh, get away from somebody that you're in love with even if you know deep down that they're no good, that they're not going to get anywhere with you, that... You know, maybe they're, maybe they're even kind of a bad person. I mean, people stick around in bad relationships all the time. You know, they might see their friends and family uh, living great lives, and yet for some reason, they stick around uh, and date this, you know, abusive boyfriend or whatever. 
So the song to me is basically about people who uh, feel kind of trapped in their relationship in the sense that they would rather sink to the bottom with their abusive partner than you know, find the courage to break up with them and live life on their own and find their own path and possibly end up alone for a very long time, you know, because there's no guarantee you're going to be anyone. So they'd rather have the guarantee of a boyfriend than live with the possibility of uh, being alone forever. So I kind of interpret it that way. It's a little deep, you know, if you think about it like that. But anyway, let's move along to track number three, which is called Joe Ray. Yeah, I totally get this guy's frustration on this song, right? Because I imagine Joe Ray is this kind of foreign, exotic Spaniard who comes to town, and all the girls, you know, they love foreign accents. They love those English, British accents, and they love Australian accents, and they love, you know, Spain, Spanish accents, because it's foreign. They're not used to it. So the poor character on the song, the main character, he's looking at Joe Ray, and he's pissed off. He's like... Darn it, why do you, how can you come to my country where I'm trying to get laid and I'm trying to get a girlfriend and it's so easy for you because you're just this foreign, foreigner, you know, this exotic foreigner guy who uh, is basically just a gimmick, right, for all of these women. He has no intention of actually like being with any of these women. But of course, all the, all the women that he's sleeping with are women that our main character would love to be in a relationship with. So I've definitely in my own life experienced people like this who, you know, let's say they came here because they're going to college, uh, you know, because I live in a college town. So the people with really clear foreign accents tend to get a lot of girls. So us poor natives, us townies, have, you know, quite the uh, competition, so to speak, during, summer, during school year. But anyway, that's a fun song. It's Joe Ray. But let's move along to track number four, which is called She's Got a Problem. Again, this is a bit of a stretch, but I do find this song kind of deep because I imagine a guy who's got a big crush on this girl who basically wants nothing to do with this guy, right? Maybe she's really beautiful or something, but she's really uh, struggling, right? Maybe she's addicted to drugs or something, or maybe she's kind of suicidal, but whatever it is, um, 
you know, she doesn't really like this guy, or maybe the guy is just too nerdy and shy and quiet and anxious to get to know her and to ask her out and to, you know, be her friend or anything like that. So this guy, our hero, is just observing this woman's life from a distance and just seeing his crush go further and further down the hole. And in fact, he might be one of the few people in her life who's really paying attention to her and the fact that she's troubled, right? Which is kind of funny if you think about it and kind of sad how maybe not even her family is aware of the fact that their daughter is like basically suicidal. Only this guy who's got a crush on her uh, but it, but is you know kept at a distance notices these things, so it's kind of an interesting song in that regard. Um, this poor woman, she's got a problem. But anyway, let's move along to track number six, which is my second favorite song in the album, Barbara H. So I have a bit of an odd interpretation of this song. I imagine a guy who's broken up with a girl and when they were together, they used to hear the same song on the radio all the time and they used to love it, right? Some hit song that's played everywhere. But even though, and they, and they bonded together with the song, but even though they're separated now, he still hears the same song all throughout the country. It doesn't matter where he goes, whether he lives in a small town or a big city like New York, you know, he's just constantly hearing the song played over the radio. And it's a constant reminder of his relationship with this girl. You know, he can't escape from it. So I've certainly been there myself where, uh, you know, in my life where I, when I've broken up with a few people, um, we used to listen to you know, the same few hits over and over again. And I had a very similar experience to this guy where like, I was trying to forget them, but at the same time, you know, I'd be shopping at Target and there plays, you know, that Oasis song we used to listen to, you know, Champagne Supernova or something. So I totally identify with this guy. Uh, you know, there, there are certain reminders uh, in life of things that you don't wanna, you don't wanna remember. So this poor guy, he wants to forget Barbara, but he can't escape it. But anyway, so let's move on to track number seven, which is called Sick Day. Check out the girl in the harbor tunnel Crawling to work six feet under And the day has barely begun Sick 
This is kind of a sad song if you think about it. I mean, I imagine this girl who's trying her very best to make her way up in her career. You know, she's grabbing the coffee and making the rounds and getting everyone what they want and not taking any sick days, right? Because she doesn't want to be seen as weak, as someone who needs a break, you know, because women already have enough uh, trouble as that is um, gaining respect in, you know, what, what are usually like male dominated jobs, right? So this poor woman, she was trying to prove herself all the time. She's trying to prove that like, oh, she doesn't need a sick day. She's totally fine. And, you know, she's, she's going to be there to get anything you want. And she's a go getter and blah, blah, blah. But it's a sad song because it sounds like no matter how hard she works, no matter how early she gets up and how, qu how quickly she gets things done or whatever, how great of a job, how great of a job she does, it doesn't really matter because her bosses only see her as a girl, as a sex object maybe, you know. So this poor thing, um, that's just kind of been the, the state of affairs for women for a very long time is, you know, they don't get paid as much as men and it's also harder for them to move up in their career because, you know, there's that old unfortunate saying of like, you know, women, women who try to uh, display confidence in the workforce are seen as bitches, right? That, that boss bitch or whatever, that unfortunate saying that's been going on for decades. You know, women who exude a lot of confidence are like turned off. It's like a turn off for men. You know, we, we like women who are not confident, who are kind of like, uh, you know, that we can be dominant over, so to speak. So it just sucks. This poor woman on this song, she wants to get ahead. She's doing everything she can and is still not getting anywhere. So, you know, even if she took that sick day, it wouldn't matter. But she needs that sick day. Uh, but anyway, so that's sick day. Let's move along to track number nine, which is called Leave the Biker. Seems the further from town I go, the more I hate this place. He's got leather and big tattoos, scars all over his face. And I wonder if he ever has cried. Cause he couldn't get a date for the prom. He's got his arm around every man's dream. And crumbs in his beard from the seafood special. Oh, can't you see my world is falling apart? Baby, please leave the biker, leave the biker. Break his heart, baby, please leave the biker, leave the biker, break his heart. Oh my goodness, this song is so much fun. I mean, it's the classic nerd conundrum of you see this guy who looks like a total mess, a total slob, and yet he's got the hottest girl ever, you know, around his arm because he's a biker and he's got leather jackets and he's got tattoos. Maybe he plays guitar or sings in a metal band, right? But he, it sounds like he's a total slob and possibly a scumbag. So this guy, you know, this nerdy protagonist in our song is looking at the situation and just like, I don't get it. I'm a nice guy and I would treat her well. I would be romantic. You know, I would listen to her when, she's, when she needs to vent and I'd, I would be there for her. You know, why can't a guy like me score a beautiful girl like her well you know sometimes uh girls just don't like you right it doesn't necessarily have to do anything with what you're about it just has to do with some girls like that some girls don't like that and just because you see one example of this one beautiful girl uh dating you know this slobby biker that doesn't mean you can like extrapolate from that that you know women are turned on by bikers and tattoos, you know. So this guy, I think, is thinking about it in the wrong way. Um, he's trying to put the blame on everybody else, and he's not looking inward and wondering, like, why am I not attracting the beautiful women? What can I do in my own life to get the girl that this guy has? You know, there's probably a few things that I could be improving to uh, get what I actually want, you know? So stop blaming others is, is basically what I take away from this song. But anyway, it's a really fun song, one of my favorites. Um, but let's talk about the last clip, the last song I have for you guys, which is called You Curse at Girls. They say you curse at girls. 
So I have a few thoughts on this song. I mean, on the surface level, it's about a guy who is looking at this abusive boyfriend and saying, like, stop abusing your girl. Stop swearing at her and making her feel bad. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? She's such a great person. She's so beautiful and so lovely, probably, that why the hell are you doing this to her? You know, you scumbag. So that's one thought. But then the other thought I kind of have is, you know, I think about it a little bit more deep. And I kind of tie it to the last track in the sense of you've got this possible nerdy guy who, you know, he kind of puts girls on a pedestal and he's like, oh, you're not supposed to swear in the presence of a girl because, you know, girls don't want to hear that foul language. And, you know, they're, they're these pretty and uh, lovely romantic things that, you know, should be treated with a certain respect and stuff like that. When a lot of girls, you know, they like to swear and they like manly things and they like games and they like sports and they like sex and you know stop just stop thinking of women as like a completely different thing from what men do and what men like you know so this song makes me think of those two things or basically uh it's about an abusive guy but it's also about a nerdy person who is you know thinking of women in the wrong way right he's thinking of them as like a different beast that they can't have the same uh, way of being that men do if that makes any sense so anyway that's the album that's fountains of wayne it's a really fun really nerdy power pop gem you know it's it's a guilty pleasure pretty much but i enjoy listening to it so i hope you thought it was interesting i hope you had a lot of fun listening to it you know, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. But yeah, that is Fountains of Wayne. Check them out and have a good one.